welcome to Cafe Astro Athens. I'm sitting here in the middle of New York City in uh, Herald Square, 34th Street, right in front of Macy's. And I feel, felt that this was a very uh, good place to do it because not only do I have my coffee with me, but I also have an astronaut behind me um, as a uh, as a snowman. So anyway, over this cup of coffee today, I because it kind of looks a bit like it could be the Falcon 9 rocket, I'm going to discuss today's launch of the Falcon 9 rocket. It was a successful launch of the GPS-3 SV-01 GPS satellite. So it actually was launched for the US Air Force and it was um, launched into medium Earth orbit. Now, you guys have probably heard of low Earth orbit, which is around 2,000 kilometers above the sea level. Um, there is also something known as geostationary orbit orbit, which is around 36,000 kilometers above sea level. Now, medium Earth orbit is right between that, coming in at around 20,000 kilometers um, above sea level. That's a really good place, especially for GPS satellites, um, because it's really good for navigation and actually being able to communicate down here on Earth for, for, for instance, our, our phones or syncing up with certain systems with the Air Force. This Global Positioning System satellite, or GPS satellite, actually had a total weight in the payload of um, the Falcon 9 rocket at about 3,800 kilograms. So it was uh, at about an average weight of a satellite when it actually launches into medium orbit and it's going to be joining 31 other GPS satellites that are operational and already in medium orbit so it's gonna be uh, working all together hands in hand for doing those things that GPS satellites do best which is for navigation timing um, and directional purposes so again this is gonna be used all for the Air Force and it was an epic launch to watch um, I wasn't there in person but I was watching on live stream because as you can see I am in New York City and there's lots of people here so anyway, um, I hope that you guys got to see the launch. If you guys were in Cape Canaveral, give me a shout out and uh, leave a comment below. Stay tuned because I am going to be doing coverage of the new launch that's going to be going, uh, leaving from India and it's going to be landing on the moon. So that's going to be launching around January of 2019. So it's coming up very, very soon. And I'm looking to try and do some coverage for that. All right, guys, chat to you later. Bye. Hello, space peeps. So what are you guys gonna be doing on New Year's Eve? I'm actually gonna be joining Launchpad Astronomy. We're gonna be doing a live stream of New Horizons spacecraft. It's gonna be passing by the furthest objects in our solar system known as Ultima Thule. So we're gonna be on there. You guys better join us. Click the link below and join us New Year's Eve. New Horizons spacecraft is passing by the furthest object in our solar system. It's so exciting. Okay, bye guys and Merry Christmas.